What happens in the Gulf of Mexico touches people throughout the United States as well as in Mexico and Cuba. In the Texas coastal bend alone, from fishing to ports as well as tourism, a healthy Gulf of Mexico is vital to ensure that everything that makes this area thrive can keep moving forward. I'm Greg Stuns, Senior Executive Director of the Heart Research Institute for Gulf of Mexico Studies here at Texas A&M University, Corpus Christi. There are more people moving to the coast, more people visiting each year, and as a result, coastal economies are growing. But it's important that we continue to protect the natural resources that attracted people to the coast in the first place. My name is Diana Del Angel, and I'm a postdoctoral research associate at the Heart Research Institute. For my PhD degree, I tried to identify where sea level rise and storm surge could combine to increase coastal floodings in the areas of the northern Gulf of Mexico. And one of the things that I found is there's a lot of data that shows us things are changing, and we can use that data to start developing some solutions. As we develop more data, better models, then we can start moving our communities of like, this is what we're gonna implement. My name is Brad Lomax. I'm a restaurateur and oyster farmer in Corpus Christi, Texas. When you live in a place because of its environments, you wanna take care of that environment. It's part of your home. The world is changing. How we treat the Gulf, it affects the whole community. I think Texas A&M Corpus Christi, and in particular Heart Research Institute, those people have helped create and raise the awareness of that connection. At HRI, it's our job to develop science-driven solutions for the greater Gulf. And to do that, we need to go the extra mile. We are just as driven by what communities along the coast need, and Brad Lomax is an important partner in that goal. The Gulf of Mexico is a special place with a diverse mix of species and ecosystems that you won't find in other places around the world. But it's also special because of the people and the communities. If we can continue to make a difference in the conservation of our natural environment, as well as in the livelihoods of Gulf communities, then we've accomplished the goal Ed Hart had in mind when he founded HRI.